tests in the NFL are also a source of debate among younger players. Today, the coach of Natick High, uh, Natick High School's team, held a special meeting. WBZ's Paul Burton spoke to four players about the influence that these pro athletes have on them. I was just shocked. It moved me. Natick High School football captains share their thoughts and feelings about the national anthem protests and President Trump's repeated comments that players who disrespect the flag should be fired. And the way he came across was a little aggressive, and I, I did not like how uh, vulgar he was with, with his comments. Tim Randstrom was at the Patriots game and watched as some of the players linked arms and others knelt. I respect their, their actions, obviously, but me personally, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't do that. Why is that? Uh, just the way I was raised. I don't I show sort of respect to the country. I don't think this has like anything to do with the military. I think everybody respects what they do, knows what they do, and I'm pretty sure they was just trying to bring attention to you know the problems in America right now. I thought what they did uh, in response to President Trump was right. I don't know if it's the right platform for um, these protests in the first place because what uh, Kaepernick was trying to protest was the um, police brutality and the injustice, but what it turned into, now we're asking the questions, is it right or wrong to stand or sit for the anthem, and that's not what his intentions were. Today we're going to break routine quickly. On Monday, uh, head coach Mark Monterelli held a special team meeting to allow his players to voice their concern. I think the national anthem means a lot of, a lot of different things for different people. These athletes, I don't think they would ever say that they want to live anywhere else, and they're not trying to disrespect the military, but you know, they're trying to improve our nation, and by doing these protests, maybe sometimes it's hated on by others, but you have to do these extremes to create the results. On Friday, the Natick Red Hawks will take the field as they always do, as a family unit carrying the American flag. In Natick, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.